Hi everyone! I am Mom, aka Serena, and today I will be your tour guide for Body Slide. We are going to spend some time in the main window to review what all of the boxes, buttons, drop downs, and sliders are for. So fasten your seat belts and let's get started. The workings of Body Slide are the same no matter which mod manager you use. When it opens, you should see a screen with lots of sliders and stuff all over it. If you don't, please refer to the troubleshooting section of the installation video, and I'll put a link to that in the description. Most people say that Body Slide is, quote, easy to use, and this is mostly true, but I don't think it's automatically intuitive when you first open it up. So please don't feel bad if your brain freaks out a bit looking at this screen or if you are confused and you have no idea what to do from here. We're going to fix that in this tutorial series. Most obviously, you'll notice that almost all of the main window is taken up with sliders. These are provided so that you can customize how you want your naked body and or outfit to look. But for the most basic function of body slide, which is simply building an outfit from a body slide project, that is fit to a pre-made shape, then you can actually ignore these sliders entirely. If you would like to customize something about the naked body or outfit, you'll use these sliders to make the desired changes. The column on the left controls how the size zero version will look, and this is for the lowest weight setting in Skyrim. And the column on the right controls how the size one version will look, which is the highest weight setting in Skyrim. You can use the preview button right here in the middle to see your changes in real time, and we'll talk more about that in a bit. One last point about these sliders. Depending on how the body slide project was created, you may get different sliders in here for different bodies and outfits. Each project will load into body slide with the sliders that were saved to that specific project. Now let's tackle all the boxes up here at the top. The first box on the left is where you choose which outfit or which version of the naked body you want to build. I don't know why, but I found this very confusing at first. Since you can build a naked body or build an outfit, this box is labeled accordingly. But this is not where you choose the body shape that you want. It's where you pick what to build. So think about this box as the outfit or naked body that you want to make. The box below it is where you pick the body shape. Preset essentially just means shape, so don't let that confuse you. This controls the shape that the outfit or naked body will have when you build it. So think about this box as the shape you want your naked body or outfit to have. Both of these are drop downs. First, click the little arrow for the Presets box. Here is where you can choose the different body shapes that are available to you, and these come from whatever compatible body mod add-ons you installed. If you installed CBBE or its body slide files, then you should see the default CBBE options. If you installed other body mods or their body slide files, then you may see different options here. You can also use the sliders to create your own custom body shape, which, remember, is called a preset. If you create a custom shape or preset, be sure to click Save As and save it with a unique name so you can use it again later. Just don't click the Save button or you may accidentally overwrite an existing preset. We'll talk more about how to make and use your own presets in a later video. Next, click the little arrow for outfit slash body and scroll down through the options. You may or may not have much in here yet, depending on what you have installed. As you accumulate body slide compatible outfits, this list will grow, and it can become very large, potentially hundreds or maybe even thousands of outfits, which is why you'll want to know how to use these other boxes over here on the right. These two boxes with the little magnifying glass are filters. They are here to make it easier for you to find the outfits you are looking for. They serve no other purpose and have no effect on the way the outfit will look. 
In fact, if you really wanted to, you could ignore these boxes altogether and just scroll through the drop-down list until you find what you want. But that's not really ideal once you have a lot of outfits, and you'll quickly get annoyed trying to find what you want by scrolling through the entire outfit slash body list. So we have these two ways of filtering that drop-down list, and the easiest one to understand is the one on the far right. If you know the name of the outfit or body that you want to build, you can type it here. See how it removes all the rest of the choices from the drop-down list? And that's all this box does. To clear the filter, just click the little gray X inside the box, and now our drop-down list has everything showing again. The filter to the left of that one is the group filter. This one is a little more complicated, but again, its only purpose is to help make it easier to find and select things. Outfits and bodies that use the same sliders can be organized into groups, and sets of outfits that belong together can also be organized into groups. Say, for example, you have an outfit that comes in 10 different colors. Instead of having to pick each one individually to build, they can be grouped together so that you just pick the group and then all 10 will be built together. Similarly, if you want to build all the outfits that are compatible with a specific body type, like CBBE, you can choose that group in this filter. There is a great explanation of groups in the Nexus Body Slide Guide that I've linked in the description. Head over there and give it a read. I'll also cover groups more thoroughly in a future video. Another important button up here at the top is this one. This will open the currently selected outfit in a separate Outfit Studio window, where you can then make changes and save them to the project. But please don't do this just yet, as changes you make and save will overwrite the original project. So you need to know what you're doing first. We'll cover this in more detail in a separate video. As for the rest of the buttons up here at the top, you can hover over them to see what they do. And you can click on some of them if you want to explore, but don't click save or hit the little red X's until you know what you are doing, or you can mess things up. All right, now let's tackle the buttons down here at the bottom. In the bottom right, there is a button that will open a new empty Outfit Studio window. This is for convenience, and you won't really need this if you have already added Outfit Studio directly to your Mod Manager as a standalone executable tool. Next is the Settings button. Don't change anything in here unless you know what you are doing, or are following the instructions of someone else who knows what they are doing. If you use MO2, be sure you have set up the output path here in the Advanced Settings box, as shown in my installation video. See the link in the description if you need to see that. Vortex users should just leave this blank. Here in between the two sets of sliders, we have the Preview button. As I already mentioned, it allows you to see the outfit that you have selected, reshaped according to the preset that you have chosen from the preset list. You can also watch, in real time, changes being applied to the shape when you select another preset or move the sliders around. You can preview the entire weight spectrum from size 0, the smallest weight, up to size 1, the largest weight, and everything in between. I encourage you to always check both size 0 and size 1 before you build to a particular preset so that you know the range of shapes that you're going to see in the game. Down here on the left, there is a line shown in gold or red gold or maybe even blue. This is the file path that the NIF will be saved to when Body Slide creates it. If there are multiple options for the same outfit or naked body that you have selected up top, you can right-click on this line and see the choices listed here. For example, with the CBBE underwear body selected, I can right-click and choose to make either the one that I picked from the drop-down or any of these other options such as the nude version, vanilla underwear version, or any of the physics-enabled bodies. Ticking this little box on will automatically set the option that you chose here as the default when you click on Batch Build. If you leave this ticked off, 
then all the variations will still be selected in the batch build pop-up window and you'll have to manually deselect all of the extras. We'll talk more about that later. Next to the batch build button, there is another little tick box for build morphs. This is only useful to you if you have certain other mods installed in your game that support using in-game sliders. As a default, you'll want to leave this ticked off. Don't build more files unless you know that you need them, and all that is beyond the scope of this introduction video. All right, so all we've done so far is look around and click through a few different options, but nothing has really happened yet. For Body Slide to do its actual work, we have to click on one of the two buttons that says Build. The big Build button here in the middle will create the NIFs for one individual outfit that you have selected in the Outfit slash Body drop-down list. And the Batch Build button will do exactly the same thing, but it allows you to select multiple outfits to build at the same time, based on what you have chosen in the Group filter. You can choose an outfit from this list here, and a body shape from this list here, and then click Build or Batch Build without doing anything else. Vortex will then build things to the Skyrim data folder, then MO2 will build them to your Body Slide output folder, assuming that you have that set up properly as per my installation video. If you are a beginner, then I suggest sticking with this very simple approach and we'll be doing some example builds together during this tutorial series so you can see how it works. If you are more advanced or would like to have more control over where things go, then I'll show you some nuances about the build options in an upcoming video. And ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's tour of the body slide window. Please wait for the tram to come to a complete stop and then exit on your right. Before you head home, Feel free to experiment with the various options that we reviewed. Have some fun, and I'll see you again soon to talk more about outfit groups. Until then, happy outfitting! <laughs>